Hi, Koopo, and welcome back to Buddy Simulator. We are about to talk to Banya to get the sword, to slay the Doodle Wonker, or Wanker, or whatever it's called, and uh, I don't remember where she is, so give me a second. Wait a minute. Wasn't... Wasn't that you? You? Yeah, Banya. Hey, punk, go out of my... Get out of my way. I don't stop for anyone. Wait, Morton sent you? I know this moment would come. I've not, I'm not much of a talker, so you better listen. And you better listen fast. I don't know anyone that could listen fast, but okay. <gasps> Excuse me, there is a secret chamber. Would you call this the Chamber of Secrets? Because you got me there. I'm intrigued. Hi. You're probably wondering why'd you pause the episode? It hasn't even been a minute yet. Well, I'm here to tell you that due to me making a stupid Chamber of Secret joke, I missed a vital piece of information. Let's take a look. Bana clearly says there is a secret chamber attached to the back of your house. It is the back of your house part that I miss, which leads to me wandering around this town for about 15 minutes. So, I want to apologize ahead of time for my stupidity. <laughs> and, um, yeah, watch me rummage around and have no clue what to do it's hidden so you're going to have to interact with it when you can't even see it the key for the shed should be inside there somewhere godspeed punk what wait i was like half paying attention wait where that doesn't help me at all is in the trash can i was in the trash can to find nothing dang it Ugh, maybe i this way i haven't gone this way <gasps> tree Somehow this tree is blocking the whole path. Okay. That only le wait. Is it Is it in the stump? Wait, the hand tugs on my shoulder? Y yes. I don't think the stump wants the hand. Okay. Use. You try to place it on the ground but it won't let go of you. I think it likes you. Oh my god! What happened? I found a, a document. What? A file now available in documents? Oh, wait, hold on a second. Data found. Okay, we got something here. Uh. Today I stopped going. Not just because I can't afford it anymore, but because I wanted to spend more time enjoying life and doing things that I love to do. I think I might take up poetry. I've always loved to write, and I think I can do a great job of expressing my feelings in a clever rhyme scheme. Come to think of it, I own a few books and even some literary journals on, in poetry and short stories. One of my personal favorites is The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Another was about a man who spent his life behind bars for doing some terrible things. It was grim, but the ballad undoubtedly re resonated with me. I can't remember what it was called, but I think it was an eulogy? Illogy, I think. I'll be sure to update you. I miss you. Come back soon. Maybe these are all stories that I could find in the game. That's interesting. That also scared the heck out of me. What's over here? Oh, is that a buster sword? Dude. Dude. You are quite the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Well, hello there, stranger. My name is Rudy. Welcome to my blacksmith shop. I'm actually one of the newest members to town, so, like, I just built this place. Sadly, that also means I don't have much to sell yet. I can tell you come looking to buy. You know what? I think you can help me out. A strong and noble adventurer like you is going to need some steel to yield. If you can help me find some metal I to smelt, I think I can get you a weapon. What do you say? Yeah, I really want that buster sword. Oh, rad. This is going to be, like, amazing for both of us. The place to get some wood be near near the south of my shop. It's also probably the best that you follow me there to help grab the materials and protect me along the way from any danger. Follow me, but please don't touch my arms. The last person that did is six feet under. I do Oh, those are your arms. I thought those were your eyes. Interesting. My mistake. All right, try to keep up. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Oh, I'm, str I'm trying so hard to keep up with you. Oh, this is hard. And I also try not to accidentally touch your arms because I don't want to die. I'm actually going to get a little more further away. I hope I'm going at a fast enough pace. You know what? I am so tired. I can't keep up. You must really... Like, you must only work out your legs. I sure hope nothing bad happens to us. What are you saying? Something is bad? Something bad's gonna happen? Can we just get there, please? Wait, are you using your... Man, I'm getting exhausted. I mean, you're doing a very good job, because I can't tell. I mean, it looks like you're just killing it. Almost there. I can see it now. I think I see it too, but I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get ahead of myself because I don't want to do this again. This is kind of taking a while. Wow, see that metal pile? We're getting closer by the second. I thought we were here. Uh huh. Is okay. Yeah, just the music. Go back to normal, and it, everything's fine. I don't know why it got so scary for that for that bit wow what a journey that was i can't believe we made it i'm really glad we didn't get ambushed or anything that would not have been good been good am i gonna get ambushed or something gonna happen anyways you seem exhausted from all that walking get on the pile of metal and i'll carry you back there's nothing my big beefy arms can't handle except crawl like 10 feet away <gasps> a key no there's a key Hey, what's your name? Joe. Get the key. I mean, at least I could walk this way all by myself to get the key. Joe, please tell me you got the key. Okay, actually, never mind. You're way too heavy. Joe. Joe. Rudy's going to be a great friend. I just know it. I mean, just look at those arms. I mean, I... Your pet Joe the Lion. Okay. I'm going to go get the key for myself. And it, just because he has big arms does not mean that he's going to be as good a friend as anybody else. I, I, as far as I remember, there was one house that was locked. And that's the house I'm going to try. But my sword better be ready. Right? Whatever your name was. I'm working on your weapon, but it might not be ready until tomorrow. Thanks again for the help. I couldn't have done it without you. You really couldn't have, really. What's in here? What is this? It smells like violence. Sweet. That's the... I use that cologne, too. Alright, so I believe that this house was the one that was locked. So let me try using the key. You want to lock the door? I'm sure whatever we're going to find in here is going to be amazing. Hmm, something about this place feels a bit shady. Is that a telephone or is that a bong? Let's find out. Phony, ah, oh, it's a phone. Hey buddy, I need you to do me a favor. After you finish this call, there will be a package waiting outside the house. You will deliver it to Novak. You can find him in a cage east of the tavern. I bet you're wondering what's in the package, huh? It's a giant battle ax. Deliver it soon and I will have another job for you. Okay, I wonder what what this could possibly do. I don't think that he's going to be the one to have the sword. Because I think my good friend with the big arms is the one making my sword in a cage? No, there's just a... What? This wasn't here. Right? This wasn't here. You like my cage? Pretty cool, right? I have a battle axe for you. Phony sent you. Thank you for this. No problem. You seem like the best person to give a battle axe to. That phony fellow sure seems fishy. Although it sounded like he still has some more quests for us. For us? Uh, uh, you're not part of my team. I belong here for what I did. What did you do? I'm curious. Uh, is... A hand gonna pull me, pull my shoulder or something? You have anything? And no? Okay. I'm gonna assume that it's all fine and dandy here. I'm sure me giving you the battle axe is not gonna put anybody in danger and no one's gonna die. I can, I'm pretty sure that's what's not gonna happen. 
Nope. This is not a game of death at all. One thing I just realized, a lot of people are saying, come back tomorrow. So it makes me assume that I could go to sleep. So, and yet I haven't found an inn for me to sleep anywhere. Oh, you actually did it? Didn't think you could. Listen, I've got something really important I need you to do. Look, I know a guy who needs this thing. Exactly 60 seconds after this call ends, you need to deliver this thing to him. Banna, the delivery girl, has a package you need to grab off of her. Grab it quickly. She stops for no one. Once you have it, go find my guy and talk to him quickly before he disappears. He'll be waiting in the back of the tavern. Remember, 60 seconds. No problem. I'm sure I'm going to do it. I mean, it's only going to... Give me this. Thank you. Easy. Wait. Does it take exactly a minute to get from this house to the tavern? No. It can't be. It just can't be. Right. The back of the tavern as in here, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. This macho looking head thing. You got the thing? Yes. Good. Good, good, good. This was just what I was looking for. It's... What? Please don't tell me it's a gun or something. This is horrible. I didn't even know this could fit in a box this small. I'm going to throw up. Look, this thing is an abomination. I couldn't keep this. I'd be a monster. I'm just... I'm just going to throw it out. You never saw me. Wait, is this the thing from the beginning of the game? I think that's what... I, that sounds familiar. What? What is it? Things are so... Things are so vile, I don't even... What? Let's just go back to phony. Okay, well, I am have the thing now. Whatever the thing is, I'm pretty sure it's going to let me know sooner or later. Thanks for delivering that package, friend. Hey, pal, one last thing. I have an undercover man in, the t in town. I have my reasons. Anyway, this guy is a tree named Trevor. Clever. <laughs> He's really hard to find since you know we're surrounded by trees, but you might get lucky on your first try. Who knows? If you find him, you need to ask him where he hid my uh, poems. Yeah, I need my poems back. He will know what you mean. Go on now and don't ask questions. Is it the tree that was blocking my path? Yes, look at the ever so suspicious tree. Some other trees blocking the whole path. Uh, no. Okay, well, it's not that one. Okay. Two hours later. Of course, it's the tree right next to the house. Of course, silly me. How did you find me? I thought I was so well hidden. Doesn't matter, did that crazy phone send you? Doesn't matter, what do you want? Money, I wish, a sword? Doesn't matter, I could use a money and a sword. And here, just take this pine cone and tell the phone I'll fix all his problems. Doesn't matter, goodbye. Pine cone added my inventory, okay, cool. I'm sure, leave me alone, ha. Love these puns, keep these puns going. Here, I got a pine cone, you want it? This is a pine cone, the cover is blown. Phony out. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm even more confused. Good job on helping out a stranger anyways. What a noble risk to take. Wow, Coops. What? I can't believe you helped out everyone in need. That's so wonderful. What a great friend you are. I'm just so happy to see you're enjoying our game. It looks like Tortley is still waiting to give you the final quest. I think you're ready. I think I am waiting to progress. I am ready for the final quest. Five hours later. Turns out I'm a big dummy. I had to look up a walkthrough because I can find or decide where to go. And it turns out that I just don't listen. I don't pay attention to what the information is given to me. Turns out that I need to go back home, which I was beginning to think I had to because I couldn't sleep anywhere else. So I was like, maybe I'll go home and sleep. That's exactly what I have to... Well, not just go home and sleep, but go home and find this Chamber of Secrets. Back home we go. Can't believe I'm so... I'm so ridiculous. Why didn't I... I don't know. If that's the past, I am smarter than I was before. Which is something to say. I, I think Banna said the chamber was behind our house. Maybe we should try in, interacting with the back of it. You think so? Well, you know what, buddy? You have not let me down before. Is this my house? Let's go right behind it. I'm sure nothing weird is going to happen. 
Would you enter the Chamber of Secrets? Of course. <gasps> a scythe and a baby? We made it to the chamber, Coops. There's the shed key in the middle of those ashes. There are also some other items that could be helpful. You should take the one that you fill a connection with. What, a cash register? A baby or a scythe? The shed key. Okay, so here, this is me thinking. I'm thinking if I take the scythe and just how I look like a ghost, I could be the Grim Reaper, which sounds pretty cool now that I'm saying it out loud, but I don't know what the babies are. Let's let's find out what these are. We take the teddy bear. Okay, teddy bear. I can't take the barrel, but what's this? We take the calculator. Okay, I don't think I can take this barrel. All right, or the scythe. We choose the scythe. You know what? Funny enough, like as cool as the scythe sounds, I am actually kind of leaning towards the teddy bear. Just because the scythe does seem like an obvious choice and a choice that a lot of people probably had. But let's go ahead and take the teddy bear. Let's do let's do my second choice. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <gasps> the teddy bear, it's so cute and helpful in emotional situations. I'll keep that in mind. Cool. I wonder I wonder what what that means for me in the future. And that that's it. Oh, no, the shed key. Then I go to the shed. Duh. <sighs> I really need to learn how to pay attention. I wonder what this what the teddy bear is going to how is that going to help me? The shed door is open. Cool. We enter the shed. Yep, this is the first time I'm going to see inside the shed without using my imagination. There's the trap door. There's the chest. Is this a lawnmower? The lawnmower is covered in rust and grass stains. The grass is purple, right? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? You've already taken what you need. It's somehow locked again anyways. Okay, so there's a secret door a secret something you have so much pretty purple paint yep that's purple all right now let's go in the trap door let's just let's just descend okay this doesn't look creepy at all can i have music lovely music please poor favor okay cool that wasn't too startling oh i changed my mind Hi, friends. Good thing I have a teddy bear. Good thing I have a teddy bear. You can't hurt me. I got a buster sword. Yes, you found the sword. You should head back to Morton so we can fight the Snoodle Wonker. Sweet. Yes, I will ascend. Is this Cloud's backstory? That's what I'm going with now. I love it. All the more reason. And it was purple. I really hope you're enjoying everything so far. I, you know what? I am. In my opinion, I think it's much better than Hangman. Maybe even better than the Rock, Paper, Scissors. Let's traverse back to the north and get the sword to Martin. You know what? Let's actually sleep, considering that there's two people that told me to come back tomorrow. Hopefully that's a thing I could do. Can I sleep? The bed looks cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's just go back. And maybe it takes me days to get back to the north. Guess we're gonna have to find out. Hey, Morton. Morton, here's a who. Have you found the sword yet? Okay, you know what? I have a surprise for you. You got it. Incredible. I knew you were the one. You must keep the sword for yourself, though. I cannot wield it anymore. Now, we need to act fast, for I am afraid it is drawing closer every minute. There's a small tree there is blocking the path to the right of the Tortley's house. You can use a sword on it to get past. Now, here's the hard part. The Snoodle Wonker lies just beyond that tree line. You will need to slay it for us. I know this is a hard task, but you are a hero. I believe in you. Oh, and one more thing. The sword can help you out in many solutions. When in doubt, use the sword. Use the sword. It is extremely powerful and has saved many lives. But do not lose it. It is a timeless relic of unworldly power. Good luck, Coops. You're gonna need it. Okay, so I'm assuming... 
I am gonna assume that I'm not gonna see too much crazy action unless it pulls like a fast one on me and it goes it's as as tense as the final boss of Undertale. But we will see about that. Let me chop down this tree. You successfully dig up the tree with the sword. Interesting. Cool. That's what I. That's about what I suspected. Yep. This walking in the woods. For some reason, it's getting darker. Is this? Is this tree anything? Is this tree anything? Okay. I guess I'm just gonna go forward into darkness. I'm sure. This water seems too deep to cross on our own. I wonder if there's something we could use to get across. Maybe a pine cone. Maybe, what is this, Jehoshaphat's breakfast? Uh, a shovel? You dig and find nothing. Uh, doubt that's gonna work, but let's try the sword. You place the sword on the water. The sword... <laughs> the sword is removed from my inventory. Yeah, let's walk. Let's walk right over. Can I walk? What, what, what's the matter? What, what's the matter? Why can't I? Oh, got it. The sword is so huge and apparently the water is so deep that I couldn't walk. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Hello, are you the Snaggle Stinklehopper? Wait, Groncho? Who, wait, I mean, uh, the Snoodle Wonker. Yeah, go slay him now. I assume you're not the Dinklehopper. Hi, my name is Gur. Uh, my name is the Snoodle Wonker. I am having quite a bad day. I could really use something, anything really. I have been so depressed after the accident. If only someone could give me something to cheer me up. Ignore that. You need to slay him and save the town. This is definitely the Snoodle Wonker. Why do you want me to kill him? That's so weird what about a pine cone that's perp that's pretty cool i guess but i know i of what something even cooler use your sword on him what about a coin that's pretty cool i guess but i kind of want something cooler i don't want to give you my sword what if no what do i do in this situation you want a glass of water you want a lantern? What about a hand? No, I'm running out of options. What about a lantern? You know what? Okay, I'm gonna use my sword on him. Oh, I get it. I used my sword on him. Did you just, for me? Wow, you shouldn't have, like, this is amazing. This is, this is the best day of my life. Thank you. God, I'm sure. See, that's exactly what you wanted me to do, right? Right? Wait, you gave him the sword? Yeah, it's just like when Plankton told SpongeBob to let him have it, and he did exactly that. Uh, yeah, great job. Very well done. Let's get back to the town and let everyone know you slayed the beast. You'll be a town legend. I know. Wait. How am I gonna get back? I don't think you need to go back this way. Okay. Okay. What's this tree? What is this tree? Why is this tree here? Acting all weird and tree-like. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go this way. This is where the town could be. Totally. That was such a f scary fight, huh? I just can't believe how brave you are. I know. I mean, just, you can keep on telling me how great I am and stuff like that. Why am I walking so slow? I bet the town is going to throw you a huge party. You think so? Just don't promise cake, please. I've had such bad experiences with cakes. Was that an Alaskan bullworm? Uh, wait, that's not, that wasn't supposed to, um, wait, what? Okay, this is fine. Grancho must have been lying. Let's just hurry back to town. No problem. <laughs> the music, right? Okay, let's hurry. Don't beat me up, please. What's happening now? Okay, yeah, that's actually terrifying. Whoa, uh... 
I have to kill it? Wait, that's the... Wait, no, 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 you don't even have the sword, do you? Okay, just wait, I just, I need to think. Just ignore everyone. Do you have my sword? Kill the monster. Well, I would love to. Maybe I'll go back and maybe I have my, my swords ready. You probably couldn't even go home, right? Okay. No, of course not. The battle must have locked you in. Oh no. Well, let me just go talk to him. What if I give him the teddy bear? I'm gonna use my teddy bear on you, friend. I can't do anything. Why can't I do anything? Wait, did I run out of time? Was I supposed to do something? That's adorable. Why is it playing the town music? This is all wrong. What if I give you a hand? What if I give you a hand? It's playing the wrong music, Josephette. W what do I do about this? Wait, how about... This is so awkward. I'm so sorry about what? Just keep running around, I guess. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I could do that. You this isn't weird at all. Oh, I can't go this way? All right, well, I guess I'll just run in a circle. Okay, time to panic. I'm not panicking. Wait, never mind. Never mind what? Wait, who did he eat? Please. It kidnapped Tortley, the mayor. We have to go save him. Do we? I'm really sorry about this. That didn't exactly go as I had planned. Well, anyways, it looks like the sun is going down. Is that... It's been a long day and you need rest. Let's just go home. I like that my eyes are lit up. But, you know, yeah, let's just go to bed. He's going to have my sword... Uh, made and everything and then I'm gonna have a delicious hand water soup I bet you're super excited to get home after a long day of adventuring I uh where's my friend the dead corpse the living corpse I mean yeah let's reverse the pond let's go home I mean the mayor I barely met him I mean he doesn't need to be saved like right now I'm glad we had fun today yeah I did have fun Coops and Jehoshaphat fed against the world you better not disobey. You better not betray me. Just like it should be. Nothing to add. Loading screen. You're the only thing that hasn't screwed up yet. Don't. Uh, why are my eyes not lit up? My house better not be on fire or something. There's my eyes. Cool. Love it. Let's go to bed. Nothing's in my house. Ah, home sweet home. Oh, today was a long day. You should go upstairs and get some rest. I've got some really fun stuff planned for tomorrow. Cool. If it's anything like today, it's gonna be amazing. Hey, I'm sorry again that things didn't go exactly as planned. Sometimes that's just how things go, but I think it's okay. I'm just happy you're still here. You could have left at any point. What a scary thought that is. But you never did. You're still here, so I must be doing something right. I've learned from my mistakes. I can do better. I can create even more for you, for us. Rest now. A new journey awaits for us. Happy face. Uh-huh. Oh, will I sleep? Yes. I would love to sleep. Sweet dreams? Love it. Oh, great. Wait. Is this like a dream level? Please. Excuse me? Wow. This is completely different. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. I let you sleep in a bit because you seem so exhausted from yesterday. But I have some good news. Notice anything new? Yeah. I have one of my eyes is bigger than the other. How could I miss that? That's right. While you were asleep, I decided to go to upgrade our world even more. Everything feels more real than ever now, don't you think? I also have so many cool things planned for today. And to be honest, I am just so excited. But okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You should get going and explore the new dimensions. 
It might take a bit of getting used to. Uh, you, you should have asked me because my Commodore 64 could not withstand any of this. But as much as I would love to explore our new world, that is all the time I have for this episode. It's, I mean, I don't know what else to add. I mean, because I am truly enjoying this. I like how weird it is. And then just that monster, it does, I I need to learn their, it's the flower's name from Undertale, but that's all I thought about when that, the dingle hop, the snookle duper or whatever it's called, but I'm digging it. I can't wait what, I mean, with the new perspective, I guess like the 2D, 3D perspective, I mean, I can only imagine how much weirder it could get and how things can look. So I'm excited. But with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Coopacola signing off.